maybe back in the day, we usually believed that white ladies, tick tick, tick bala, and other supernatural beings are scary and terrifying because of their malevolent powers could pose danger to us. But as we grow up, these supernatural beings aren't real, and it's just superstition of the people that grow to them and created the lore of these creatures, where it becomes a folklore, or should we say, folk psychology. Let us now proceed on who is Paul Churchland. Paul Montgomery Churchland is a Canadian philosopher known for his studies in neurophilosophy and the philosophy of mind. He was born in Vancouver, Canada in the year 1942, October 2, and died at the age of 80. He has a wife who's also a philosopher named Patricia Churchland. So let's go back to discussing this man on what are his contribution in the field of philosophy. Churchland has the common sense psychology or aka the folk psychology meaning is that it is a human capacity to explain and predict the behavior and mental state of other people. Our best way to put it according to Ratcliffe and Puto that it's our everyday ability to attribute mental states to other people, including their beliefs, desires, intentions, and so forth. And because of that idea, it was being rejected by some individuals because it never begs an inquiry for some of these beliefs and superstition if they are real or not. Then it comes to the idea of eliminative materialism. It's opposing people's common sense of understanding of the mind it's false or superstition or belief that in turn does not actually exist. In accordance by Churchland and his wife, the self as a brain, then mind and body are separate from one another and they are not related, which we can say that body doesn't affect the mind and the mind does not affect the body. But what's the true meaning of it? Neurophilosophy is that understanding the different neurological movements of the brain pertains to different emotions, feelings, actions, and reactions in how such brain movements affect the body. For example, in the film Batman 2022 in a deleted scene is that when Batman, acted by Robert Pattinson, visited the Joker, played by Barry Cogan, we saw that the Joker managed to figure out what drives the Riddler. It's violence. It's so baroque. Oh, he makes little puzzles, doesn't he? So meticulous. Like he's been planning this his whole life. I know. We saw that the Joker managed to understand what it feels like to be in that kind of position, a position we are treated as no one. That's one of fun example of neurophilosophy because the Joker understands the Riddler's motive and reason and why he do and what he do and because of that he mocks Batman for not knowing the Riddler's pattern. We could say the idea of churchland of neurophilosophy is deep because you are trying to understand the cognitive of the person by relating yourself and it's no different from empathy. Hey guys, um, thanks for watching about the nutshell of Paul Churchland. Also, there are things that I also add up and some kind of topics that you have, you know, kind of different to watch but I add it because I think it may add some kind of information to the video and also I want to thank a Romer Manong Song and Suhaima Ich Akila for laying their voice in the video and that's all I am Akro and I'll see you in the next video. Alam.